Okay, welcome to the technical department. This is my 250 cubic foot tank. And we got some interesting crap going on here today. A little bit on the ridiculous side, but hey, you know, whatever. Here's my 2 by 2 inch solid... Here's the end of it. A solid 2 by 2 inch cold rolled in which I've drilled three 5 8 holes. One of them where that stud's coming through. The other one where that other stud's coming through. And another one there for the small tank, which we haven't gotten to yet. But anyway, I'm bringing these giant nuts down on this 5 8 uh, on the 5 8 uh, I got welded to the strap, okay? 5 8 all thread, welded to the strap both sides. It takes a inch and a sixteenth wrench here. She's a proto. Yeah, made in user. These are hard to come by. Inch and a sixteenth. But anyway, I got these babies rung down tight. I, right? yeah, I, right. I got them rung down like a mofo, as we say in the trade. And uh, <coughs> I can't do it anymore with one hand. But it takes two hands. I'll do that later. But uh, I, I gotta wonder, you know, uh, what's the uh, what's the crush? strength of one of these tanks. This is uh, about nine and a half inches in diameter. There's my strap, okay? This is the strap I'm going to use. It'll be cut, that wells will be cut off. I'm only using a half a circle, but I got to get the half a circle right. But hey, you know the interesting part is, I realized after I uh, made this strap that I probably would have been better off using a piece of eighth inch steel plate and grinding it to the to the half circle shape to cut it and then grind it in and uh, you know, uh, flap wheel it into the correct curve, then I could have used the chain on the back. But hey, you know, that was then and this is now, so we're continuing with this uh, saga. I wonder if I'm starting to warp this thing. Uh, huh. Does that look warped? Might have rung those bolts down too tight. But hey, nobody no really knows, you know. Yeah, I got 5 eighths all thread welded to the uh, 1 by 3 16 strap. And I've been tightening it down and hammering on it. Hold on, I'll show you. This is how we do it, you know? how we do it. Yeah, now we'll, we'll uh, bring those nuts down a little tighter and uh, hammer on it some more for you. Whoops, I'm going to knock the tank over. That's pretty tight there. And might break the welds, but hey, you know, whatever. Yeah, who cares anymore. <clears throat> That's good there. And a little more there, you know, and then, guess what, yeah! Take it off and test it, you know. Maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. Hold on. I'll okay, so I took the nuts loose. Now they're finger tight only. So let's check the other side. Tell you. Okay, this is a piece of uh, 20 pound bond paper. 
want to see if it'll go in or what. Goes in part way. Let me see if I got the last little humps out. Apparently the uh, apparently the center is closer to the tank. Whoops, there's some clearance there. Let's see if I can drag it around. Well, I don't like no clearance. Uh, let's see, it starts there. This looks good around here. i say it's pretty good for the most part. Started here. Only goes in about that far, which is about where the half circle begins. So this side of the circle is better, I guess. Goes halfway down in there. Straps an inch wide, but this only goes in about a half. So yeah. So maybe I'll take it off entirely. And we'll have another look see, huh? Okay. Alright, so banged it out a little straighter, you know. And now we're uh just I just finished welding it in place. Right down there. That's the tank brace. I kind of split the difference here a little bit. That plate is uh, about six and a half inches across by an eighth thick. Held on by four spot welds. Custom contoured to the outside of the band. Now I got to flip it and weld the other side and weld this side some more. You know, go totally anal. And, uh, you know, it's still tight on there. And there's my, uh, my, uh, my giant two by two by, I don't know, about two and a half feet long piece of cold rolled. There's my uh, huge gigantic nuts on the 5 8 all thread. There's my 5 8 all thread welded to the strap, rung down tight as a mofo. So there's there's one of them. There's the other one. I still got to do the uh, small tank, the 125 cubic footer. And uh, this piece of 3 8 by 3 flat bar keeps the uh, keeps the two by two square thing from <laughs> making a dent in the side of the tank. All right, so that's where we're at so far. And, uh, you know, we're working on it. You know, it's, uh, we got stuff going here and, uh, you know, tools everywhere. It's a typical setup. You know, it's all purely experimental. You know, okay. All righty. Okay, here's the dip back uh, tank brackets. What I got of them so far, all right? Yeah, I, uh, you know, remember earlier, here's some things you might remember. These rigs here, this little rig, you know, I, uh, attached them to my, uh, <coughs> you know, that flat bar stuff. And, uh, you know, bolted them around and whacked them and, uh, Welded this eighth by, I don't know, I can't remember the dimensions. The one in the back, six and a half across. But this one's only like five and a half, which is a small tank. But that's what I got so far, you know. Well, I got to come up with a way to attach this chain to this. I was going to use this hook here. One of these hooks. Let me put these hooks up on the, yeah, in the photo area for you. Those hooks, one hook at uh, each end, one hook at that end. And then the, you know, the rod joiner at the other. I don't know. I haven't figured it out exactly yet. I'm still working on it, you know. We got to, we're, we're going to really need to think on this. But, uh, you know, there's what the welds look like. You know, it's a dial arc -er. I use my dial arc on it. And, uh, you know, this is what they look like so far, you know. They're uh, a fairly close approximation of a, uh, of a half circle. You know, what do you think? Maybe they aren't, maybe they aren't. But hey, you know, hmm, we're doing a little recycling here. We're recycling. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, hmm, okay, yeah. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm at on the, uh, the back, uh, tank brackets so far. I need to figure out some kind of clever way to hold the chain on. Oh boy, that's gonna be a trick. 
I don't know. It's going to be hard for Bubba to figure. You know, think it over. We like to get in macro shots every once in a while. Here's a close-up of the chain. There you go. That's what the chain looks like. Here's a close-up of one of the hooks. It's a quarter inch. Yeah. And there's the, uh, the rod joiner. I like to use my old Miller dial arc on it, you know? Yeah. Okay, so I like to keep you posted and, uh, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, have a good day and things. I'll uh, see you later, okay? Alrighty. Bye-bye now.